Hello, welcome. Yasas, today I'm cooking one of my favorite dishes, keftevers. That's meatballs to you. <laughs> and salsa, which is a tomato sauce to go with it, with the saffron rice. Yummy, I love saffron. Now, saffron is very expensive, isn't it? Very expensive. You know, in Greece they call it the gold of Greece. The gold of Greece? Yes, I didn't because know that. it's so expensive. And it's, 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 a, it's a very small well, part of the crocus, isn't yes. it? Well, I've got some here. Yes, and I brought this from a, a spice shop from Thessaloniki. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's what I'm going to use today for my saffron rice. And that's where you made your film, isn't that's it? That's right, which At we're going to see shop. now. Great. This is my favorite spot for herbs and spices. He's got great cooking herbs and spices from all over the world. Let me introduce the proprietor. Hello, Ali. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. We would like some uh, uh, cooking uh, spices today, and could you show us a little bit of anise, livoglicaniso? Uh, ah. And. Hello. I love the smell of uh, anise, isn't it? Yeah, this is anise and mm. it's Greek. After an evening, so you use it for bread? Bread yeah. and baking. Ah. So this is the seeds of marathon. It smells a little bit like anise, doesn't yeah. it? It's very similar. Mm. But it's more so what do, you, do you cook with this? Oh, you chuck it. That's how they... These are the seeds that you make. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Maybe, I should take, maybe I should buy some of this and try okay. my own uh, home brew of uzo. <laughs> mm. All you need is a still. How long have you been here? How long have you been here? Up to 1938, Papoush. 1939, this shop has been My open. Grandfather. And it was your grandfather, your Papu. <laughs> is it common to see shops like this in, the, in, in Greece? Oh. No. no. It, it's yeah. unusual it's and unusual. It, I think it's the only one left yeah. in Thessaloniki yeah. where you don't buy your herbs in plastic bags. Can you recommend anything for that? Yes, yes. Ah, okay. Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus leaves, yes. Mm. 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 Saffron. Is this Greek? Yes. There you go. That is something that most people don't realize, that Greece is a great producer of saffron Sa yeah. and has produced it since antiquity. I believe so, yes. Yeah. And they used to dye their garments. Of course, With now this? it's got too expensive to dye uh, garments. In <laughs> Akribon, after all. Very expensive, eh? Oh. Yeah. So, how much will this cost? What's a tiny? Chilis. 1,000 for About just few uh, three grains. pounds right there. I like to buy some of these because yes. I've got a lovely recipe. I'll make some uh, rice pilaf. Oh, yeah. The color will be yeah. superb. Yeah. Each little hairy part mm. that you see there is from a single flower. And it takes thousands of flowers to just make it nouns. I believe so. Stuff. Yes. 
Well, well, I hope you'll cook with it. I, I will definitely cook with this, yes. And it's so expensive to buy, you know. So I think it's, it's cheaper here in Greece. μαζί με το νερό. You can boil it with water, yeah. yes. Ή να το ρίξουνε uh, yes. έτσι. I, I, I usually put it in some pot, warm water. Yes. Let the color come through and then you. Στο νερό it. που θα χρησιμοποιηθεί. Yes, I still use the, the threads. Yes, yes. And then you use the water, yes. of course, yes. to boil whatever you're going okay. to boil. Εντάξει, πώς θα κάνει. Χίλις πετακόσες. Χίλις πετακόσες. Σας ευχαριστώ και εγώ. Ατίο. Γεια σας. Στο καλό. That looked an absolutely wonderful sort of treasure trove of oh, it was. fabulous smells it was. and flavors. Yes, it was like a Latin's cave. Yes, oh, yes, 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 yes. You, I mean, herbs and spices do play an enormously important part in Greek cooking, they do, don't they? They do. I mean, yes. We've got some arranged here on this yes, plate. Yes, we've got a, a bit of nutmeg there, which is yeah. fantastic to uh, go on top of moussaka, you know, on the bechamel sauce. We've got mint which is beautiful right, right. in staphy leaves and very good with lamb that's mint, right like, like that's we right. use mint sauce yes, you yes. use it as well although the greeks don't use it in the on lamb they use it for they not? no oh, with the vine leaves yes okay uh oregano that goes on lamb the yeah, opposite okay, you know fine. and here we've got some coriander seeds which yes, is beautiful to make uh, the famous afelia which is pork with the uh, coriander with seeds wine. and red wine yes. the cypria yeah, speciality yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, but paprika, uh, I think paprika, of it being Hungarian. Uh, I know, but the Greeks use it a lot. They actually yes. call it sweet pepper. Fair enough, yes, it's sweet yes. as and, and it's nice because it goes into many, many yeah. dishes. And of course we've got cinnamon, cinnamon sticks. Yes. Now, uh, Greeks use a lot of so, ground cinnamon in, in the food. Yes, as in moussaka, for uh, instance. That's right. Yeah. With this they make beautiful syrups, you know, oh, really? to go on top of paklava yes. and yes, uh, yes. Galato Burek, all the yeah, sticky yeah, yeah. Greek mm, sweets. Yummy. And of course we've got the saffron. That's and the one. That's right. That's that your. That's what you're going to use. And that's what I'm going to use, you okay. know, for my rice. Well, I'll leave you to get on with your okay. rice. I'll see you later. I'll see you later, okay. Charles. Okay. Solos is busy cutting the onions for our meatballs for later on. But first of all, let me show you how to make this beautiful peel of rice. Now, in here, I already have uh, two red peppers finely chopped and one onion finely chopped, frying with two or three tablespoons of olive oil. Now you want to saute them until nice and soft and then you add two cloves of garlic finely chopped. Have you noticed I use a lot of garlic in my cooking because I love it? Right. The next ingredient is two uh, uh, small tomatoes peeled and finely chopped. Now that goes in, mix them together. Okay, now I'm going to add my rice. Now I'm using uh, pudding rice because I prefer it than uh, pasmati rice for pilafs. Okay. In there. Next, I'm going to add what I have done here actually is put few threads of rye, uh, a few threads of, uh, of saffron in half a glass of hot water and what you have to do is leave it for 10 to 15 minutes until the water gets cold and you end up with this gorgeous beautiful color. Now I'm going to add this, this is going to add color to my rice and flavor my rice as well. Okay, next I'm going to put about two to three ounces of uh, cooked uh, peas now they can be fresh or frozen, it's up to you, it doesn't matter because they don't, don't take that long to cook anyway. Now I'm going to season my rice with pepper, salt, a touch of um, paprika, just a pinch of paprika. Of course you can put more if you want it more spicy. And a little bit of dry oregano. And now I'm going to add a quarter pint of stock. Now it could be meat stock or it could be a vegetarian stock. It depends if you're a vegetarian or a meat eater. That doesn't matter. Now, the next thing I have to add is a little bit of chopped fresh parsley. Now all we need to do is let it come to the boil 
and then lower the heat and simmer it for 15 to 20 minutes and our rice will be ready. Right, we put the top on and we leave it simmer it for 15 to 20 minutes or until all the liquid has been absorbed by the rice and what, that's what it looks like when it's finished. Mm. Do, do you need any wine in this recipe? Why not? I always need wine. Well, you know me. Wine. I like my Excellent. wine. That How looks great. terrific. I mean, that's. Right. The, I love the way the colours come through there. They're, they're lovely, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All now. Right. You've got them beautifully turned out here. That's right. How I'm going to show you how to do them. Now, you need yes. one of these moulds, I right. think they're called. Mold, yeah. Put a bit of clean film uh -huh. around them and then fill it up. Just pack it down. Pack it down, yes. Yeah. Press it with the, the back of the spoon. Brilliant, yeah. Right, like that. And all you have to do... Turn it off. Turn it off like that. And oh, look, isn't that voila. beautiful? Hey, press And all it. we need to do now is decorate it with a little bit of parsley because I love parsley. Yeah. And it looks gorgeous. The colour's there. Now, I think that's just terrific. I mean, nice. I, it looks very good on that yellow plate yeah. as well, but the, the way you get those really vivid colours, the, the yeah. bright green of the parsley, the it's beautiful like, yeah. glowing red of the, of the peppers. It's like a painting. It's like a painting, <laughs> but it's, it's like the sort of very bright, vivid colours of Greece. That's right, especially That's in terrific. the summer. I yes. love it. And it goes beautiful with my yeah. keftedas, my meatballs. Excellent. That I'll be making well, later. Well, we're taking a quick break now. Lula's back with extremely Moorish meatballs and I'll be recommending the wines to go with it. See you in a couple of minutes.